Some Afghan refugees resettled in Colorado this year are getting their first taste of Thanksgiving. A family in Broomfield has been helping an Afghan family get settled. Their relationship goes back years. Nine News reporter Luis De Leon takes us to their first Thanksgiving together. When you define tradition, we have, we've always had a blended Thanksgiving. What comes to mind? The thing that the kids look forward to most is lasagna. Scott and Heidi Hankel of Broomfield, like many families, have their own on Thanksgiving. Stuffing's me, and then Heidi's all mashed potatoes. But this year, a new tradition is in the making. We talked about it a lot when we were overseas. The former U.S. Army captain served in hundreds of missions alongside his team in Afghanistan. Me and my family and, and our old team is reuniting for the first time in 14 years. On that team was Ahmed Siddiqui, an interpreter who stayed in Afghanistan with his wife and kids long after Scott finished his tour. So like I'm just super thankful to have the outcome that we had. Last month, the Hankels helped bring Ahmed and his family to Colorado after the Taliban took over Afghanistan this summer. Now, practically neighbors, Ahmed and his family are celebrating their first Thanksgiving in the U.S. <laughs> while also reuniting with his old team. Oh man, you're here, I can't believe it. New traditions made. <laughs> so we've got a American, Italian, Afghan, Afghan yeah. blended Thanksgiving. It's a blessing, yeah. Having my family, having the, the, the bigger family, the extended family all around, it was something you always hope for. Yeah, new tradition, exactly, yeah, but it's a good tradition. It's always a good tradition to have people around one table enjoying the food and, and enjoying the good memories. Yeah. Sharing the old memories. You would see him first thing with his Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> While making new ones. Do you eat shark? No, I eat that. This is, this is everything that Thanksgiving should be. Your meatballs are good, Hodia. Yeah. Luis de Leon, 9 News. The Siddiqui's now live just a mile from the Henkels, and they're hoping to get together for Thanksgiving every year.